All right, guys, go to Boy32 here. Check it out. So we just got done putting together a 6.5 Creedmoor build out in the Freedom Shack. We're going to top that thing off with the Primary Arms GLX using the Apollo Radical. The cool thing about the GLX is that the turrets are absolutely amazing. So we're going to demonstrate to you guys how to not only use the Radical, but we're going to use the turrets two different ways of working that thing. Well, in any case, uh, let's talk about this. The other day I did a video on the Parler app being removed from both Apple and the Google Play Store. Uh, a lot of people were like, well, you can still pick it up online. Well, unfortunately, uh, Amazon, who was providing the server uh, space for the Parler app, decided that uh, Parler was being used uh, and this is according to BuzzFeed News. Let's read this thing. Uh, Amazon notified Parler that it would be cutting off the social network favored by conservatives and extremists. Why does, why does BuzzFeed have to use the term extremist? Let me know in your thoughts down below. Uh, I, I guess what my thing is is that uh, now that uh, if you're a conservative, you're also an extremist. And it's the people painting a picture of it. And it is, as far as I'm concerned, mainstream media has forgotten half of the country. If you listen to CBS, you would think that the, the entire world is getting ready to fall because, well, the conservatives are extremists and they're going to, you know, uh, riot and do all kinds of stuff. You even have uh, Joe Biden offering that uh, Black Lives Matter would have been treated much differently than the rioters or the protesters uh, last Wednesday. Okay, so people on Parler used the social network to stoke fear, spread hate, and coordinate an insurrection at the Capitol building on Wednesday. The app has recently been overrun with death threats, celebrations of violence, and posts encouraging patriots to march on Washington, D.C. with weapons on January 19th, the day before the inauguration of President-elect Joe Biden. Y'all believe he did that office of the president-elect. I think that was all a smear. And I think you can all agree with me that uh, they just rushed this thing way too far forward. All right, so basically an AWS trust and safety team told Parler Chief Policy Officer Amy Peikoff that the calls for violence propagated across the social network violated its terms of service. Amazon said it was unconvinced that the service's plan to use volunteers to moderate calls for violence and hate speech would be effective. They'd probably be a lot better off if it was run by, oh, I don't know, YouTube or Google or Facebook. Because, you know, you can only say certain things on Facebook, otherwise you're deemed an extremist, right? Recently, we've seen a study increase in this violent content on your website, all of which violates our terms, the emails read. It's clear that Parler does not have an effective process to comply with the AWS terms of service. <laughs> Oh my gosh, in a post on Saturday evening following the publication in his story, Parler CEO John Matz, who did not return a request for comment, said it is possible that the social network be unavailable on the internet for up to a week as we rebuild from scratch. Now, I would like to say that there were several posts, and they're illustrated right here on this uh, article. I'll go ahead and put the link to it down below. Sounds like war. It would be a pity if someone with explosive training were to pay a visit to some AWS data centers and locations of which are public knowledge. That's absolute. I don't know why anybody would say something. Uh, I do agree that freedom of speech, but when people start making threats like that, that, you know, you're going to get a visit. Uh, but basically what it is is Parler was launched as a countermeasure to Twitter uh, so that basically we could make comments without fear of being removed and share ideas to people who are, are like-minded. The mainstream media, well, they've had, you know, they're basically putting a ban on that. Uh, let's talk about this. This is another one right here. There's a bunch of screenshots in here. You can take a look at them. You liberals, you dirty left Democrats, and Antifa, Black Lives politicians, and blah, blah, blah. Um, it, there's some things that people probably should use a better judgment when trying to uh, talk about this. Uh, they go on to say, we cannot provide services to a customer that is unable to effectively identify and remove content, encourages or incites violence against others. Uh, because Parler cannot comply with our terms of service and poses a very real risk to public safety, we plan to suspend Parler's account effective Sunday, 
January 10th at 11.59 Pacific Standard Time. Now, uh, to be honest with you, I just tried to log on to my account. I can't log into it. Um, Amazon employees had publicly called for an AWS ban of Parler. Well, I imagine so, because they probably are a bunch of, you know, bleeding liberal heart communists. Well, anyway, that's my whole thing. Uh, Parler. The, the mainstream media is part of the problem. I blame the mainstream media for not paying attention and giving people on all sides the ability to express their opinions and their mind. When you have Twitter canceling certain folks' accounts because they go against their agenda or their story. I blame you, Twitter. With that being said, let me know what your thoughts are down below. This is a boring video, I know, but uh, we got to support these guys. we got to get behind them. And as uh, my good friend Frida Mink just said, if we don't do something soon, we're going to lose our freedoms one day at a time. And that's how they want it. Because freedom is a right because it doesn't cost anybody else any money. It's Boy 32 If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women, in uniform who support our Constitution as was written by our founding fathers 24-7 for our freedom because freedom is not free. I am out of here. Y'all be good.